This is Lillian Groves, aged just 14. She was killed by a driver who admitted he'd been using illegal drugs. Yet he only served a few weeks in prison. The law is being tightened and a new initiative is starting in schools to highlight the dangers and change attitudes. A pilot survey found about 9 out of 10 pupils thought driving after using certain drugs is safe. Mark Ashdown has the story. It's been two and a half years since Lillian Groves was killed, run over outside her own house by a driver high on drugs. Was very content. Now her story is being used in schools to educate pupils on the dangers of drugs. She used to love playing with her younger brother. It's part of an exhaustive campaign by her family to try and change attitudes. It needs to be readdressed. It's not safe, um, it's not clever, it's not smart, it ruins lives and it certainly ruined ours. They think they're invincible and they're not. They think it won't happen to them. And Lillian was probably one of those people that, you know, probably never even knew about drugs. So schools like here in Addington, where Lillian attended, are being encouraged to sign up for the 45-minute lessons. What about drugs and driving? What Called Get Clued Up, they're interactive, showing life skills are equally as important as grades. The academic learning that they do in school has to have an impact on their life, but we also see learning as being holistic, um, that they will need a whole range of personal and social skills to go out into the workplace and also for, the, for their lives. John Page was the driver who killed Lillian. He'd been smoking cannabis but wasn't tested for nine hours and served just eight weeks in jail. New technology shown to us last year could herald tougher roadside testing. The law is being changed, but there's concern over the next generation. Now, before pupils take this lesson, they fill in a questionnaire of their opinions on drugs. And a survey of schools where this has been piloted found 88% of them thought driving under the influence of some drugs was safe. After the session, it's a different story. I didn't think drugs was that bad when you were driving, but now I realise it's obviously worse and it can take people's lives. They're more dangerous than I thought, because um, showing what they can do, how they can harm people. 17 London boroughs have already signed up. Lillian's family hope the road users of the future will learn the grave dangers of drugs. Mark Ashdown, BBC London News.